Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. If you don't have a demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator, but I don't have to be. I'm here to share my love of paper craft. So um, I'm doing a series of videos. I'm loading them up about every other day um, for July and August showing what I am doing with my personal celebration goodies that I got for free from my order. So this is video number five in that series. Um, this video, we're going to be using the Dragonfly garden set for this little stamp set that says for a true friend. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Every time I get on, we're going to be using the double oval punch, the bow punch, the deco circle punch, and a very, very retired. Don't remember what it was called, but it was this little bird. And this little um, punch. So I brought that out of retirement here for a moment. So let's show you what we are using. So I am going to be using this pool party card in the seafoam envelope. You can get 20 of these. You'll get 10 of this pool party. And then you will get 10 of the soft seafoam. They all have the soft sea foam envelopes, but here it is. I got two packages of these. So, um, this is the soft sea foam. This is the pool party. We are using the pool party one. Like I said, Dragonfly Garden, we're using for a true friend. So, let me set that aside. Um, I've got some. Oh, I also used the scalloped contour dies. Now, they retired the Stitch So Sweetly dies, which I loved so much. So let's show you what I have. I have, this was four and a quarter. No, this was four by five and a quarter. And because you're not going to see this, I went ahead and used an, another scalloped contour die to cut this out of the middle. This is a really cool one. You can stick ribbon through there. I have an idea. Just have to figure out what to, others to go with that. So I did that on that one. I did a solid the next scallop contour die in Night of Navy. Then I took, this was part of the Rings of Love. Now I cut this little piece out for another card and that has left me a dilemma. How to cover up that because I don't want to uh, waste this gorgeous piece of paper, that bluebird. That's how I came up with this card. So we are going to start by gluing this all onto our card base. So let's do so. Let's see here. We're just going to scribble some glue. If I can get it down to the bottom of the glue bottle. Scribble, scribble, scribble glue all over that. This one goes down first. This is Mint Macron, by the way, this color. And that is because Mint Macron... And soft sea foam are the color in these pretty little leaves. So next we're going to go with our Knight of Navy. Same thing. Scribble some glue. Or use the tape runners that are available. I don't have any tape for my old tape runners. And I'm not sure I'm going to buy any. I really like using the liquid glue. So this one is going to get glued down. Now, none of this is going to be popped up except for my little bird. And that's because I have a lot of uh, elements to go on this card. So I used a scrap piece of Knight of Navy. Now, most of this all was done with scraps out of my scrap boxes. So do you see that just doesn't quite cover up the scallop? So I had to think, okay, what else can we do? So I went to the bow punch, which I will show you. We're using both pieces. I did this in the mint macaron. I then punched some of these in soft sea foam. Then I went to my scrap bin again. And this yellow looks like crushed curry, but I had didn't have any crushed curry. So I went to some retired bumblebee. And I'm going to show you how I did this for the tips. All I did was I just used the single upmost one and I just pumped that, popped those out, cut off the very end and glued those down to make 
these elements. Now on these leaves, we are going to do a couple more, but I want to show you using your thumb with the edge of the bone feed folder, hold your paper and pull outward. And you're just um, pulling like you would on Christmas ribbon and it will furl up these or turn up. You could use that word. Um, these leaves and we want that we want them to be curled up furled uh, so that's what we're gonna do here let's see I thought I had some more oh well, maybe we're doing it in the soft oh see if I'm like where's my scrap piece I know I cut a scrap piece around here okay we're not gonna worry about it. we're gonna go with the two that we have Ta da nope I really do want oh here we go nope that's not it this is it so we are gonna get this in here now I'm gonna get both punches out of this so there's that I'm gonna turn it around and we are gonna punch the others <coughs> and we so, sorry about hitting the camera everybody we're gonna furl those ends up so just furling I love celebration I love uh, the free products and trying to find out what I can do with them I love mixing my retired products in with these and what I really love is being to use something like this bird punch and stamp that I have kept all these years because I couldn't part with it because I loved it so much and I did so many cards with it. So we're going to move all of this stuff aside and next we are going to put down our leaves. So I'm going to add glue here to the bottom and then the leaves I'm just putting it right like so. So I'm going to stick one up here. some glue there and one down here like so in the four corners had to have my husband turn my husband my grandson turn down his music from his computer he's got playing through the surround sound He's like, well, at least it's good music. I said, yes, baby, it's good music. Oh, so our deco circle punch is going to go there. But you can still see that little bit of blue. So I had an idea. Um, I have these strips of vellum in my vellum scrap bin. So I thought, why not cut and extend some vellum out from behind this? And that, you know, I'm a big believer in using what you have on hand. So I'm just punching, eh, I should have gone down a little bit further as much as I can out of the vellum. And now we are going to, vellum doesn't adhere really well to a lot of things. So we're going to use a little piece of tear tape. <clears throat> and this tear tape is thanks to a paper pumpkin. So I am just going to put a piece on this one. Not all the way around it because we're just adhering it to the back to do a little camouflage but let's see if these will come off without a needle it does so I am going to extend this just like that now it's not going to meet in the middle and that's okay I didn't want it to I'm just trying to get Stay down there. There's going to be plenty of stuff on there. So there. Now you really can't see that I have a problem. <laughs> or did have a problem, I should say. Now because I want this nice and tight down, now we are going to add some more score tape. I'm going to do three strips. Top, middle, and bottom 
to the back of our deco circle punch and I got a little too much there so glue scissors and we can add that little piece right there now I'm going to get my handy dandy needle do a good rub on there so that sticks to it and let's lift these up real quick like Yeah, that one says, I don't want to go. So here we go. Now we're going to push this down nicely. <clears throat> now we can start work on the front. Now this little um, set here, I don't even remember when it's from. And I don't even have the stamp case it came in. I just have this. So... What I did is I had some scrap of um, cinnamon cider and I punched this branch out three times. Then I took soft sea foam, you can see them right here, and I just got this part of an image. And we are going to start with gluing these. You can see that being on that nice dark night of navy. I'll show you how I did this. So came in cut that off cut this off and we're going to be doing this um behind it because then well let's do that first we have this little piece of believe it or not christmas paper and i just used this on my uh da -da -da, whale done card and it kind of, though, it has that pool party in there. So I am going to punch some leaves because it's just scrap right now that probably wouldn't be used for anything. So I'm going to do a couple of those. And we are going to start. I've already done the other two. One. All these pieces are everywhere. Okay. So... We are going to glue that one directly onto the front. Not with the Christmas tree, but the opposite side. Now I can start adding my leaves behind it. So I'm just going to put a bit of glue there. Put it there. Where's my other one? I'm going to turn it this way. A little bit of, bit of glue there. And it's just giving it some more stability now i have this one which needs this piece to it so i'm going to trim that off and i'm going to put glue right there and add that to there so now we can get this element on so we have this branch which i already know this one was going to be my left so i'm going to add a little bit of glue there in along my branch as I make a glue mess on my card. So this one is going to go over here. And they're going to cross like so. Then we're going to have this one I wanted this one like down here. So we're going to have to cut our, there we go. Because we want it to look like it's still coming out from the other branch. Down here. Now we have our little flowers that need to get tucked in here. So we're going to cut snip those ends off because that way I don't got to put so much in here with that little pop of yellow to bring out the yellow of the little birds just adding that in there and this one the same So we have these I thought we could tuck in right like in here. So we're going to add some more of these little leaves that we used 
in here but this time these are in the mint macaron where is the mint macaron paper again hmm. i need a little bit more so out of the scrap bin we're going to punch a few more of these leaves there's one let's see how many we can get out of this be surprised what you can get with your scrap paper. I love my scrap paper. So I think that has made it full and useful. We're going to get some more here. we put it there I'm not sure if that's getting a bit much so we might just wait or we might tuck some in here let's see this one is shorter we can see if we want it going this way oh, maybe we can I have no nails to speak of to pull up this one let's see do I want that little bit more down there now we're gonna leave it right there for the moment Okay, now we're going to stamp. We're going to stamp our bird, and we're going to stamp our sentiment. Um, if I can find the sentiment. And like I said, we're doing all of this just in Night of Navy. So I'm going to start with the little birdie wing. And I brought in some blends. Yep. So let's get this in here. Yikes, I'm going to need a handle, so oh, my aunt put these little post-its on my desk. Let's see if I can grab one, if maybe this will work. Right there with that little arrow. Punch here. All right. Yes. Oh, there's our wing. Okay. And now for our bird, I'm going to take it this way. And we are going to pop our bird right there. Beautiful. We are going to use some Wink Estella to color in our bird and some, um, a blend. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I think we have enough room. Where is that dual oval punch? Double oval punch. Oh, I think we have enough to get it in there, and we do. I had an extra scrap just in case. I didn't. And this is going to say, for a true friend. Just like that. So, now what am I going to do to, I am going to use a wee little block, put some Knight of Navy ink on it. I'm going to get my little Wink of Stella here. I'm going to start by giving it a push, a little squeeze in between my fingers, holding it upside down. Ooh, you got all that that came out. That's an awful lot. Okay. We don't need, well, it will dry. Okay, we're going to start with our little Bernie wings. He's going to be really, really sparkly. The rest is going to be yellow. So we are going to do his tail feathers and go right along here it actually just kind of blends that watercolor in a bit oh that's a lot of wink of stella on here so i'm gonna bring it down some more to a little bit of his head darker okay so let's go ahead and do a wash over this too so we're gonna go down here 
just kind of scribbling the ink around because I'm not doing any backing on this. Huh, something is at my fence. I heard it pounding. That's not normal. All the dogs are inside. We're going to go over it real lightly. I'm happy with that. Oh, got to definitely brush that off. So next we're going to come in and we're going to start with the light daffodil. I didn't want it dark. So we're going to come in and just do a bit of yellow in here. We're going to do his beak dark daffodil. Okay. Come in with the dark. Like I said, we're doing this little beak dark. And I'm going to go ahead and do along the wing's edge. And in here with some of the dark. Now, I think I might bring my Winka Stella back in and wash over this a bit. I might ruin it and have to do it all over again, but that yellow was just a little too much. And his little wing's going to go there. So that is really good. I'm happy with it. So I'm going to wipe that off for now. Wipe my brush off. And let's get our little birdie together. So I want my little birdie's wing to be furled outward. So I'm going to take the back of it, thumb and bone folder, bone, furl it out some. Now, is that nice and dry? Mm -hmm. So for a true friend, is going to get... Thought we would tuck that there. Let's see what else we have here. And then do I'm gonna put some bling on it. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I like that. Um, I wish this was a little smaller. Hold on. I have a very old um oval punch, but if I can grab it real quick, it has a smaller oval. I gotta pull them up to see. No. Yes, found it. Third try. Let's do this one. It's um quite a bit smaller, and I think I'm gonna like that better. So I'm gonna take my little post-it note, use it as a handle. And there, that's gonna be a bit better. Actually, we could pop that up there. I think we're going to add a little bit of yellow in here. Why not, right? Just to match it in with the bird, definitely. And I want this flat. Like I said, I knew I only wanted my birdie. There we go. For a true friend, and my little birdie is going to be sitting, nesting right in here. Let's get some dimensionals. As my wee little dog is snippeting, I don't know if you can hear her, but she is having a conniption fit at my back door. <laughs> She's just going to have to wait a little bit longer. So there's my bird. And we are going to glue this down right on my little bird. And we have to wink a Stella the bird to go with the rest of it. So we're going to wink a Stella the yellow. And we'll wink a Stella a bit on our sentiment. And I do have, believe it or not, I want to put some bling on this. This card has a lot, but it's not, <clears throat> I'm 
thinking those will go so pretty. These are the fine sparkle adhesive back gems. And let's see if I can. They didn't want to come out of the package earlier. There. Let me get my needle. Did I lose it? Nope. It's in its spot. We're going to do two here. Like so. I think we're going to do three just up in this corner. Just like that. Just to add that. That needed a little something in its spot. And these blend in beautifully with that mint macaron. So for a true friend, it's a gorgeous little card. We have a beautiful little envelope. And to go with it. And that is my project number five for using my goodies from the celebration. So the reason why I show you things like this is you could get the scallop dies. <coughs> add the punch. You're going to be at about $50. If you're not quite at $50, add some bling in there. Get to your $50 mark, get your free product. And my free products for this were the Rings of Love DSP, which is back here with these little birds, um, in the card base and envelopes. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, share my channel, help me grow it, would you? I would greatly appreciate it. And um, come back and visit me in my wonderland. Bye-bye now.